G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I thought I'd try and get this mechanical TV set up as quickly as possible just for the sake of testing it and to see if it does anything useful in remotely displaying at least a rudimentary picture. Anyhow, so I thought having the circuits on breadboard as is, I uh, set it up in in a good enough way to at least test it. So here we have the nick of disc spinning, and we have our bank of LEDs as they are blinking away as they are doing, producing the um, variation of um, light pulses to produce a picture. Now as seen uh, nothing really is happening as at the moment because I've got the LEDs as they are um, undiffused so you're just pretty much seeing LEDs showing up through the holes in the disc that I've punched through which is about I'd say 32 holes, I haven't exactly counted them yet. But either way, as you can see, each hole progressively crossing the LEDs, you got you can see some horizontal scanning. Well, horizontal scanning from uh, right to left, right to left, which is how the original bad televisor worked. The pictures are progressively scanned vertically and the rasa scans from yeah, right to left instead of from top to bottom. Anyhow, once I get this set up a bit more properly and um, the bank of LEDs um, put into a little housing and, and a um, uh, translucent to opaque type um, cover over them which was which um, a, say a plastic bag was suggested by a guy named Daniel Gosson so I'll give that a go and see how we we'll get a nice evenly spread light for this uh, experiment Anyhow, also another thing too, um, with the motor setup, um, I think maybe the disc ain't spinning fast enough to produce a decent scan to reproduce a picture. So that's something else I'm going to be looking into. But either way, so I've got the general idea anyhow on building this mechanical TV set. So yeah, hopefully um, with these bugs on out, I should get a picture of some sort. Anyhow, what's meant to be displaying is a is a little test pattern of a white circle and a white square. Anyhow. Once I get around to setting this thing up properly, I should get some better results. Anyhow, uh, yeah, this is just set up in a very botch ass, rough sort of way, so I was kind of hoping to get something on display. But anyhow, yep. This is the general idea of a uh, mechanical TV. Oh, another thing I forgot to demonstrate is varying the motor speed. So as seen here, I've um, got me DC motor speed adjustment, which I'm vary it up and down. So it's going much slower at a slower speed. Vary it up a bit more. And I've adjusted up to absolute maximum, and that's the absolute maximum speed we can go. However, 
of um, ramping up the input voltage from 4 volts to say maybe 12 volts the uh, motor is scanning a lot more rapidly Still not quite seeing any anything recognisable through these four LEDs, but but I'll get there eventually. Just have to diffuse the LEDs, and so we get an evenly spread light, and have the setup properly, and I can test it more accurately I might actually turn off the light and see if it improves it at all yeah once again as you can see the LEDs are flashing according to the variations of um, electrical impulses from the mechanical picture Yeah. I know I can sort of see some variations in the light from the mechanical scan so I guess I'm on the way there um, well, it's not showing up on my mobile phone though late at night I'm gonna call it an evening with this project and work on it tomorrow whenever I get the time. Now yeah, I hope you enjoy this project I've started working on. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out. See you all.